Good morning all. Welcome to machine learning video. This is Swapna. Today's our topic is genetic operators. The generation of the successes in genetical algorithms is determined by the set of operators. That set of operators recombine and mutate selected members of the current population. That means the generation of new generation of the current population is determined by the set of operators that we are calling as a genetic operators. By applying the genetic operators, the new generation will generate of the current population. So, these operators correspond to the idealized versions of the genetic op operations which can found in the biological evolution. evolution. The two most common operators are crossover and mutation. Two most common genetic operators are crossover and mutation. By using these genetic operators, the successor generation or new generation of the current population is generated in genetic algorithms. The crossover operator produces the two new offsprings from the two parent strings. By using the two parent strings, Two new offsprings, two new generations are, uh, two new strings are generated by using the crossover operator. How it works means it copies the selected bits from the each parent. The bit at position i in each offspring is copied from the bit position and i in the one of the two parents. That means it selects the few bits from the parent 1 and it selects the only the remaining bits from the parent 2. By that, the new offspring is created. The new offspring is created, the new bit string is created by using these two parents. The choice of which parent contributes how, how, which bit positions and how many number of bits are determined by using the crossover mask. By using the crossover mask, by seeing that crossover mask, we can we can say how many number of bits are selected from the parent 1 and how many number of bits selecting from the parent 2 to produce the new offspring. So, crossover operator is the one genetic operator which is used to generate the new population from the current population and to execute this crossover operator it requires the additional string other than the parent strings other than the parent strings it requires the additional string that additional strings we can call it as a crossover mask by using this crossover mask from the two parent strings it will generate by using the crossover operator it generates or produces two new offsprings two new offsprings so for example purpose here i am explaining that mm, to consider the topmost of the two offsprings in this case is these offsprings taking the five bits from the first parents and remaining six bits from the second parent how we are knowing that one Mm, uh, if uh, it is taking the 5 bits from the first parent and it is taking second, 6 bits from the second remaining 6 bits from the second parent to form the new offspring means by using the crossover mask by using the crossover mask here we are specifying that one crossover mask so here crossover mask bit string additional string is there within this 5 ones are there Remaining 6 are 0 sarte. That means these 5 ones to form the first new offsprings. First 5 bits are taken from the parent 1. Remaining 6 bits are taken from the um, second parent. By that it will form the first new offspring. To form the second, second offspring. It, of, it, uh, it uses the same crossover mask string only but switches the roles. That means it is first taking the first 5 bits from the second parent and remaining 6 bits from the first parent. By that it will form the second offspring. Second offspring. So like this by using the crossover operator. By using the crossover operator it generates the new offsprings by using the additional string 
crossover mask by using the crossover mask additional string by that only we know how many bits are we need to take from the pair parent one and parent two to form the two new offsets so within this crossover there are different types are there within that first one is the single point crossover single point crossover so in this the crossover mask is always constructed so that it begins with the string containing n continuous number of ones followed by n continuous number of zeros n continuous number of ones n continuous uh, number of zeros are present in the crossover mask to complete the string this results uh, of strings in which first n bits are first n bits are contributed by the one parent by the one parent the remaining bits are by the second parent the remaining bits are from the second parent to understand this here i am specifying the one example here i am giving you one example so single point crossover initial strings are parent strings these two are the parent strings these two are the parent string and here crossover mask is continuous number of ones and continuous number of continuous n number of zeros here continuously five ones are there after that six zeros are there that means first five bits are taking from the parent one to form the new of string c these first five bits are taking and uh, generating uh, to generate the offspring first five bits are taken from the parent one and sec remaining six bits are taken from the second parent and it form the new offspring and to form the second offspring it is using the same crossover mask only but it roles are changed that means first five bits are taken from the second parent and remaining six bits are taken from the first parent like this by applying the crossover operator it generates the two new offsprings it generates the two new offsprings see next type of crossover operator is two point crossover instead of one continuous here it uses the same thing crossover mask only and same applies but but it is using the two parents only and it is also generating the two offsprings but it will take two times from the one parent and one time from the second parent see here two zero in a crossover mask two zeros and three uh, five uh, sorry five ones are there and four zeros are there so to form the new offspring it is also same thing uh, using if continuous zeros are there the uh, how many zeros are there that many it is taking from the parent one and remaining wherever the ones are there that bits how many bits are there five bits of ones are there that are taking from the second parent second parent and bit positions are like this only after two strings after two bits it started the one wherever the bit position one is there from uh, the in that bit position is it is taking the bits from the second parent like this zero sir they it is taken from the parent one after that here it is having the five ones so it is taking the from this point to this point five bits from the second parent to form the new offspring after that again zeros are there it is taking the uh, uh, bit positions from the parent to form this new offspring and to get the second offspring it changes the it, cha it, uh, it changes the roles it changes the roles mm. 
Next one is the uniform crossover. Here there is no limitation for the two times or single point. Uniformly it is taking from the parent one and parent two also. Here also it is using the crossover mask, additional of additional string and two parent strings. It will generate the again two new offsprings. See, this is the crossover mask. This is the crossover mask. Here uh, first this crossover mask uh, bit strings are starting with the point uh, one one. Whenever bit position 1 is there, it is taking the bit from the parent one and it is adding to the first obstacle. After the two zeros are there, these two zeros are there, it is taking the two bits from the second parent and it is adding to the obstacle new. After that two ones are there, uh, that means again it is taking the two bits, two bits from the parent one, 0, 1. So this is adding to the obstacle 1. Again, next one is 0 is there. That means it is taking from the second parent and it is adding to the new offspring. After that, again 1 is there. It is taking this one, this one from the parent. So, that is adding to the new offspring. Next, again 2 zeros are there. These are taking from the parent 2 and adding to the new to form the new offspring. Next, last 2 ones are there. It is taking the last two bits from the parent when adding to the new offspring. The, like this, new offspring is generated. Again, to generate the second offspring, the rules are changing. When wherever one is there, the bit is taken from the second parent, and wherever zeros are there, the bit is taken. That bit is taken from the parent one, and wherever once is once again there from the parent two, and zeros are there from parent one. Like this, it will generate the second new offspring. So, these are the different types of crossover operators. Crossover operator is the generated operator to generate the two new offstrings from the parent strings. And there are three different types of crossovers are there. Every crossover is uses the additional string that is crossover mask. Depending upon the bits present in the crossover mask, depending upon the bits present in the crossover mask, um, the, uh, depending upon that only, it will select the bits from the parent 1 and parent 2 and it uh, produces the new offsprings. So, three different types of crossovers are there. Single point crossover, two point crossover, uniform crossover. Single point crossover will contain continuous of uh, the continuous um, uh, n number of 1s and continuously n number of zeros. In two point crossover, it, can, uh, it contains um, uh, one set of zeros and one set of ones and one set of zeros. Like that, two point crossover is there. In uniform crossover, how many number of ones are there? That many number of uh, uh, zeros also. Continuously, it is changing bit positions. Continuously, it is not uh, continuous. Uh, man it is not in a constant or continuous sequential manner. It uh, uniformly, it uh, will take from the parent one and parent two. Like this, it will ap apply. And after that, another type of mutation, another type of genetic operator is mutation, point mutation. Another genetic operator is mutation. So, to understand this mutation also, what is mutation means? It is taking only the one as a parent string and it will generate only the one new offspring also. And how it generate means from the parent string, it automatically randomly chooses the one bit and changes that bit bit value, changes that bit value. By that it will generate the new new offspring. Randomly it chooses the one bit and it changes the value of that randomly chosen bit. By changing the value of that randomly chosen bit, it will generate the new offspring. See within this example, here it chooses the random bit, this one and this value is 0. So, it changes its value to 0 to 1 and whatever the new, whatever this string is there, this one we this one is considered as the new offsprings. Generally, this mutation is applied. Generally, this mutation is applied after the crossover operators. So, whatever thing I am explaining with this example, that are only we are explaining here. Single point crossover operator. In this, uh, we can apply by using the n chosen at random and crossover mask is then created and applied. In two point crossover, offsprings are created by substituting the intermediate segments. Not the continuous one, substitute the intermediate segments. Here also crossover mask is beginning with number of zeros 
and followed by continuous number of ones. Continuous number of ones. Continuous number of ones. And um, uniform crossover. It combines the bit samples uniformly from the two parents. It combines the bit samples uniformly from the two parents. So, in addition to recombine these operators that produce the uh, offsprings by combining the parts of the two parents. And second type of operator produces the offspring from the single parent. Second type of genetic operator is produces the offspring from the single parent only. That second type of operator is mutation operator. Mutation operator. Second type of genetic operator is mutation operator. It uses the single parent only and it also produces the single offspring. And this will offspring is generated by with the small random changes. Here it will choose the random bit and it changes that value. It changes that its value, that width's value. After by that we will get the new offspring. Generally, this mutation, generally this mutation is performed after the crossover. After the crossover operator only. Generally, mutation operator is performed after the crossover only. After the crossover only. After this, next topics we are going to know about is fitness function and selection. This will cover in the next video. By this, I am ending this uh, video. Once again, I am repeating whatever we are covered in this uh, video is about the genetic operators. Why we are using the genetic operators means to generate the successor generation or new generation from the current population to generate the new generation or new population from the current of population we are using the genetic operators there are two genetic operators crossover and mutation crossover and mutation um, crossover operator uses the two parent strings and generates the two new offsprings and to generate the two new offsprings it uses the additional string that we can call as a crossover mask another type of genetic operator is mutation it uses only the single parent and it will generate only the single offspring the new offspring it will generate and here it is Changes the one bit randomly chosen bit by changing its value, it generates the new option. And in crossover operator, there are the three types are there that is single point crossover, two point crossover, uniform crossover. In single point crossover, crossover mask will contain the continuous number of ones and continuous number of zeros. By that, it will generate the two new offerings. In two point crossover, in two point crossover, the crossover mask contains the intermediate segments of ones and zeros and this crossover mask will generally start from the zeros. Generally start from the zeros. By using this also, it will generate the two new offerings. Next one is the uniform crossover. Here, there is no interval. It is continuously uniformly. It is uh, having the ones and zeros. Depending upon the ones and zeros, it will generate the two new offsprings. And we said another type of genetic operator is mutation. Here it is. There is only the one type of operation mutation. Randomly chooses the bit and it changes the value. By that, it will generate the new offsprings. These are the two genetic operators to generate or to produce the new or next generation population. I think it is clear. Thank you. I am closing this video. We will meet in the next video with the new topic, fitness function and selection.